Welcome back to my Cave of Wonders toy box. I'm Professor Toy Box. This, of course, is Aladdin. And today I'm going to build the final chamber, which is the cavern where Aladdin finds the lamp. Here are some screenshots of this cavern from the animated movie. It's a large chamber with a high ceiling and a small lake. A series of stepping stones leads from the entrance to a rocky tower in the middle of the chamber. There's a steep staircase that runs up the tower, and at the top is a pedestal with the magic lamp on it. This of, where, this of course is where Aladdin finds the genie's lamp in the movie, and where he'll find Jafar's lamp in my toy box. At the entrance of the chamber is an elevated platform that looks out over the lake, and a monkey statue with a red gem on it. <laughs> a temptation which proved too much for Abu to handle by himself in the movie. So the first thing we're going to do is come out over here where we left off last time. And I want to block in this chamber. And so I'm going to start with this long, tiny terrain block here. And we're going to put this right over here above the tunnel. And then I think I'm going to replace this piece. So I'll pick that up. And I'm going to scroll over to the left and use this piece instead, because this will be fewer seams. And then we'll go back to the piece I was just working with. And we need one more row across the top to get the height that I want. And so we're going to put the first one right here, just like that, lined up on the front edge of that. And we're going to go two over this direction. Oops and two over in this direction, like that. And that will get us the height that we need. And actually, I'm thinking, let's go ahead and take those back out and let's do it this way. I'm gonna flip this one around and then we'll use this uh, tall, narrow block right on the front here. So I needed to use one of these anyway, and I think this will save us a little bit of memory, even though that's wider than I need, and there are fewer seams on that, so that's really good. All right, so that will be the wall coming into the chamber. Now the next wall is going to sit right over here. And if we come right to the corner like this, I want to come in just a little bit so that we don't have a gap looking through there. And don't worry about that hole down there in the corner. That's going to get covered up. We're going to put two of these like that. And then we're going to put another one on the end over here like this. And another one, if I can get it up a little closer, <laughs> there we go, just like that. And now that blocks in the room, so that's going to be the size of our room. All right, now let's go ahead and put the floor in. And I'm going to use some of these large floor pieces here from the blocks drawer. And I'm going to start in that corner and we're going to style this to be the water theme. So we have to scroll to the right a little ways to pick that up. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. I'll set that to be my theme. And then we'll just fill in the floor with this. And we could just use a block with uh, the Buzz Lightyear texture on it. Some larger blocks. But since I have the memory in this toy box, I kind of like the water texture better. And so what you're going to do is just go through here and just fill in the floor all the way to the end. I'll do that and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I'm back and I've got the floor all filled in for the whole chamber. And that took a few minutes, so I'm glad I didn't bore you with that. So now 
we'll go ahead and add some shape to this chamber because right now it's pretty blocky. So we're going to come back down to the terrain drawer and go left. And we're going to come over to the canyon pieces. And I'm going to grab this short canyon outer curve. Actually, it's the taller one that I want. So we're going to put this right here in the corner. That'll help round this out a little bit better so it's not looking so square. We'll put one on either side like that. And then in the opposite corners, we'll put this little small curve because I don't really have room for that size corner. As you can see, we're going to end up covering up that hole, so don't have to worry about that. This is also going to cover up some of these ugly seams along here, so that's good too. Alright, and then we'll grab this extra wide canyon wall. And that gives us that. And then uh, come over here and do the same thing on this side. Like that. Then we need a piece here in the middle. Just like that. And there we go. Okay, the next thing we'll do is, before we put in these corners, we need to put in the ledge that's over here. And so we need to come over to the left and I'm looking for this piece, the cliff ledge piece. And we're going to put this, let me see if I can grab my screenshot here. Let me put this out here for right now. Because the other piece that I want to put in, I'm going to come back over and pick this one up. Put it down and go over to the right. Because the other piece I need is this cave cliff piece. And I want to line this up so that that door is right in line with that cave. So just like that. And then now we can put this piece in. right like that and we'll flip another one here and put this over like this and then we're going to need that piece the small floating cliff like that okay and uh, I'm not sure I want to pick that piece up so let's put this Pick this one up and put it down. And we're going to need this narrow cliff ledge. I'm going to tuck this in right there. And I'd love to have one sitting over here, but I can't really do that because it's hitting that block below. And as much as I'd love to center that, I actually need space in here for that monkey statue. So that's why this is offset like this. Okay, so let's pick this piece up and put it down. And then we're going to come back to the right. And I'm looking for the ramp. Which is that piece right there. And we're going to line this up right with the middle of that. So that looks pretty nice. It's a little flat though on that front edge, but we'll fix that in a moment. And now that we've got that, 
we can come over and fill in this little corner over here. So I'm going to put down a canyon wall on either side. That covers up the rest of that hole. And then we'll put this small canyon curve right there. And then for the flat edge on this, we can put this piece in here. And that'll kind of help make that look not quite so flat. So there's our ramp coming down to the water level. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we need the tower. And I'm going to come over here and grab this narrow canyon wall. And I'm going to put this down right here in the middle, on that middle seam for the water going down the middle of the room. And I'm going to line it up just past that seam there, which is going down, almost down the middle of the screen. And I'll zoom in here a little bit so you can kind of see what I mean. So that's where it's sitting with respect to that seam between those water tiles. And so now we can come grab this canyon curve. And I want to put this right here like that. We're going to put one on either side. And we'll go ahead and place one over here. Eventually I'm going to put one here too, but I don't want to cover up this thing until I see exactly what I'm doing. Because we need to build the stairs that are going to be going up to the pedestal. And so that's the piece that we need next. And so uh, actually before we even do that, we got to build this higher. So I'm going to grab this short canyon curve and this is going to sit right on top of this just like that. Same with that. Same with that. And then this little short narrow canyon wall sits right in there just like that. There we go. That's the proper height. Okay. So now we'll come back over to the right to the basic blocks. To the basic terrain block shapes and I'm going to start with this terrain cube. We'll start up here at the top of the platform. So just like that. And I don't have stairs that are steep enough so I'm going to have to build my own. And so we're going to put another one down like this. One below that. And one like that. So that's what we've got so far. And then we'll pick up this one by three and put that down here like this. Half a block out and down. Half a block out oops, and down. And down and we'll go a full block out for this one. And a full block out for that one. And a full block out for that one. And we're going to need one little block in here because we've got that little gap right there. So we want to make sure we plug that. And as you can see, with the block set up that way, we don't have any gaps looking through past this block. Okay. And so now we'll go ahead and put the last of these pieces in. So I'll pick this one up, put it down, rotate it slightly, and that piece is going to sit right in there. And then this piece will sit right on top of that. And there's our tower. And just to kind of cover up some of those ugly block seams, We're going to come out here like this. 
put one down on that side. And one down on that side. And I'm not quite as worried about the player seeing it from this direction with all of those seams. The player is going to be coming in the room from this direction and going this way and going up the stairs. So that should be fine. All right, and now we need the stepping stones. And for that, we're going to come to the decorations drawer. And you'll need these from the Marvel Battlegrounds playset. And if we scroll to the right, there are these pieces of rock from the Wakanda Mines level, which you see after they crash out of the mines and onto the ground. So we have these cliff pieces here. And so, let's see, I need my screen grab that shows how to orient these. So this first one, we're going to center again on that seam that runs down the middle of the toy box. And we'll put the first one right here. And the next one, we'll pull it out, let's see, like that. And I don't really want to use these large ones. I kind of like to keep it small. So we'll rotate these around a little bit. And you just want to play with them a little bit, try to get them to not look too repetitive. So that looks pretty decent. And we could even take this larger one out of here. Put another one of those in. Just kind of space these out just a little bit more. That's a good thing. So there, just like that. So now we have the entrance to the cave, the stepping stones going across and up the wall to the platform. So that looks really good. Now for the final touch, we'll need a couple of interior pieces, and we already placed these back in episode 44 when we were building the treasure room. I had put these out on the side, and I mentioned that we'll need them later, and this is the time. So we'll come over here and pick those up. The first one is, of course, the platform with the lamp on it. So I'm going to pick that up to move it. And now we'll carry this all the way down and put it where it belongs. Doo, 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 doo. This chamber here that I just built is actually a little bit shorter and those stepping stones kind of threw me. It's a little shorter than the chamber I had built originally, but I think I like this a little better. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to place that lamp and I want to orient this, I think, like this. Doesn't really matter, but I think that's closer to what was in the movie. <clears throat> so right in the middle of that platform. And then the other piece, of course, is the monkey statue. But by placing these down earlier, now I don't have to go back into that toy box interior again just to get these two pieces. All right, and this one's going to sit <clears throat> right back in this little cubby, just like that. And with that, the build exercise for this toy box is done. 
The only thing we have left to do is to put the ceiling on, but we'll do that at the end. It's going to be easier to work with the rail slide and the logic toys if we leave the ceiling off for now. Next time we'll start building the rail slide maze in the lava room. Before I sign off, I want to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately, and that is, when will I be finished with my Aladdin series? Well, as near as I can figure, I have about 10 to 12 episodes left. So that means I'll be finishing up this series in about 5 to 6 weeks, and then I'm probably going to take a little break before diving into something new. I know this has been a long series, and I thank you for sticking with me through it all. Hopefully you've been enjoying it. Thank you again for watching. Before you go, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, all that usual stuff. I always appreciate it when you take the time to do that. Take care, and I'll see you next time.